Hello everyone! I want to show you a quick video showing how you can do uh, photo engraving on leather and also synthetic leather. So we're engraving a um, tablet um, case actually. I'm not sure that it's uh, natural leather but uh, we've made some experience and experiments on uh, real uh, natural leather and it also looks good. So you see that uh, you can do very, very accurate and very, uh, very detailed uh, particles. So that's that's uh, that works really good. So we are using 10 watt uh, Pro laser and our modified uh, Alex Maker machine. So the good thing about this installation that the speed is quite impressive. The speed is 5,000 millimeters per minute. So it's five meters per minute for laser engraving and you can actually see the speed that uh, the laser is changing its power so that's because we have very uh, high quality and very quick um, uh, electronics on MO2 oops oh, sorry on MO2 PC board so that is over here and uh, yeah that's why that's why the speed is quite impressive. I think I'll take uh, probably a, uh, a little bit more than two or three minutes to complete the entire engraving. And uh, the, the power is 75% out of maximum. And uh, zero is, uh, like minimum power is zero. So the range for engraving is from uh, 0 to 75 and 5000 um, millimeters uh, per minute. Another uh, thing that I want to mention that we use an LX Maker board, it's actually not original LX Maker board, but uh, it's a clone of it. But uh, you see that works good and we use uh, Lightburn software. Uh, you can do inversion of image and uh, yeah, I'm actually quite uh, quite happy with the result. You can actually m make it as big as as an entire um, as an entire case, but for uh, simplicity and uh, to make it quicker, I decided to to make it like this. So uh, yeah, let me see. That's we still have some moments over there. Okay. okay. Yeah, so it looks good, and uh, let me check, uh, like uh, 90... 94% is complete. Uh, I would also suggest if you do laser engraving and engraving on leather, make it somewhere outside or use foam extractor, because it still uh, makes some, uh, some dust and smoke. It's not bad, but still. I'm actually quite happy with the result and also with the speed that you can uh, can achieve. Also, uh, it's necessary to remain in focus. I actually believe that you can do it even faster. I think you can do it like 10,000 uh, millimeters per minute, but uh, you would need very, very stable machine for that because uh, uh, that's uh, that would probably require very high uh, stability. The, the laser can operate in very high uh, frequency speed so it will not be any problem for our our 10 watt pro laser. I would suggest you to take pro versions if you want to do photo engraving because then you can do it really really uh, fast so the due to ratio on MO2 can be uh, changed very, very effectively. Unlike on MO1 PC board that is on our laser box version one and laser control board, um, the speed of changing pulses actually due to ratio is not that fast. So, okay, let's see the, the result. Okay, it's really good, it's really good, so yeah, I'm 
I'm quite happy with the result. Probably we need to clean it up a little bit. Maybe wash it. But uh, yes, anyway, uh, let me change. Uh, make it brighter. Yeah, I think it's it looks really good. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know gf at endurancerobots.com or text me plus seven nine one six two two five four three oh two. I'm always open for your comments, thoughts and ideas. And have a wonderful photo laser engraving with endurance. Bye bye.